So we're here back again with Sam, and Sam's going to run through some of the features on the ME20. Um, so Sam, over to you. Fantastic stuff. So yeah, this is our, our ME20. So a lot of people know this is an extreme low light camera. So we we got it at four million ISO. The actual unit itself is a very very small bit of kit, and actually it's EF uh, EF mounting on the front because it's got one of our full frame sensors behind it. The unit itself. It actually has to be uh, battery powered by an external power, like a V-Lock system, as well as monitored and recorded through a different system, like at the moment we've got one of the Atmos Shoguns on there. And I'll walk you through a, a, in terms of a simple setup. So in here we've got a bit of a dark room. Yep. You can see that it's completely it pitch black dark, in there. Yes. Um, and with the remote, now with the remote we get full manual control over the unit. I can simply just start to raise our dB. And you can see that now when I get to 36, 3942 starts to bring out the image as well and that there's only a tiny tiny bit of light going through there which is probably similar to like a moonlight yeah. or starlight which you get on a natural uh, night as well so it is it's an incredible bit of kit I mean the beauty of this low light as well it's using color normally with the some of our low light night Black vision stuff, green, night, yeah. horrible yeah, horrible yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you don't get much post-production um, processing with it at all but now we've added c-log into it as well you also get a lot of flexibility wow. when it comes to the edit. Now in terms of the actual unit itself, mm. when you buy, uh, does it just come as the camera body itself single or do you get body. the remote as well? Uh, so it comes as a single camera body, but the camera itself will only do a physical automatic mode. So you can't control any of the features as well as you can with the manual with the, remote. With the remote. Yeah. And in terms of uh, inputs, outputs, what, what sort of inputs and outputs okay. are, are featured on there? Uh, so it's an SDI uh, on the back. Um, you've also got the HDMI for the output wise. Uh, we recommend the, obviously the SDI going to an external unit for that. Um, and then it's a four pin uh, DC in for the, uh, the power. Brilliant, thank you very much Sam, and if you do need some more information on the unit, do give us a call 0208 977 or jump on the website www.visuals.co.uk.